All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking NFL news here. Just came out uh, about five minutes ago, I believe, from ESPN. Pending a physical, Quan Alexander will be signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, you guys know how much I love Quan. Um, just to quickly rattle through, uh, through the it, 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 reasons why. 60-plus tackles. 40-plus of those solo tackles. He signed a one-year, $1.1 million deal for the Jets. Not only did he just, you know... Not only can we just talk about the production, but he was a veteran leader. He definitely provided that just aggressive edge uh, on Sundays that I personally felt like the defense uh, needed coming off of Salah's first season with the team being one of the worst in football. Then in year two, we, we needed that guy to really help bring some of the energy along with Quincy Williams. Big, big fan of Quan, right? Worked with Salah before. He fits the system. Uh, worked with him previously in San Francisco. He I really got a sense that... Um, I got the vibe that that the players really liked Quan and he really liked the Jets as well. Like he liked being a part of Gang Green. Uh, man, I, I wish he was back, but you know what? I'll say this: the Jets had plenty of time. They had plenty of opportunities. Whether you want to talk about when free agency first opened up, whether you want to talk about you know June early part of July, Aaron Rodgers restructured his contract. So we essentially have a better understanding of where the, uh, uh, where the cap number, where, where, you know, what the financial situation looks like. Sorry, there's crazy bugs out here. I'm getting bit up. Um, but no, we had plenty of opportunities to go down the Quan Alexander route. Uh, personally, and, you know, I said this a couple of times, you know, I was, I was totally fine doubling or tripling his pay one year 2.2 one year 3.3 mil worst case scenario right four million bucks it's like i still want that in the locker room uh you can actually make an argument that Quan made more sense for the jets this season because it's a win now as opposed to last year when we were the young up-and-coming uh squad so it is what it is you know there, there's still other linebackers out there but i think because the jets did not sign Quan, they obviously knew that Quan took a visit to pittsburgh they knew that there was some interest there because the Jets were stagnant, I think it does say something about uh, Jamie and Sherwood. I, I mean, we've seen on numerous occasions, where, nu uh, numerous occasions, whether it's him doing well in practice, whether it's C.J. Mosley talking about him, whether it's Robert Sala talking about him, Jeff Ulbrich, uh, his peers, right, teammates. It really seems like Jamie and Sherwood going in the, into year three here is going to have a bigger role, a more expanded role within the defense. And I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Quan Alexander going to the Steelers pending a physical. So thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.